There may be thousands of languages around the world, but there's one major language that always is overlooked because it doesn't have any words. Confused? We're talking about body language. Your body language can communicate a lot more than what comes out of your mouth. Unknowingly, you may be showing traits of your personality through your body movements, stares, and gestures, all of which are part of your body language. So, what does your body language tell about your personality? Keep watching today's video to find out the answer to that. From indicating you're nervous, lying, flirting, happy, to your level of confidence and many more. Watch until the end to find out. Number 1. You maintain eye contact. Maintaining positive eye contact when meeting a new person or when venturing out into the business world is a sign of respect and can increase the quality of your face-to-face -face contact. When you make eye contact, you seem confident, dominant, personable, qualified, skilled, competent, trustworthy, and emotionally stable. All of this from maintaining positive eye contact will ensure that you've made a mark on that person. They'll see that you've been paying attention while revealing your thoughts and feelings at the same time. It's no wonder that they say the eyes are the windows to the soul. They reveal what we're thinking through shift of eye movement or dilation of the pupils. Number 2. You raise only one side of your shoulders. People generally use shoulder shrugs to indicate a lack of knowledge or doubt, but when only one side rises, the message is dubious and partial shoulder shrugs indicate a lack of commitment or insecurity. If during a conversation your shoulders only partially rise, or if only one shoulder rises, chances are you're not committed to what you're saying and are probably being evasive or even deceptive. Find this list interesting? Well, keep watching because there's a lot more interesting stuff coming up. But before moving on, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos like this and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Number 3. You keep biting your lips. Whether you apply bright red lipstick or go natural, your lips are going to send silent signals for others to read. Lip movements can suggest a lot of things, including tension or arousal. Biting and chewing on the lip often indicates fear and anxiety. It can mean that you're uncomfortable in the situation, worried or insecure about something. But lip biting can be a sign of flirting as well. Also, pursed lips don't necessarily mean you're going to kiss. They might actually indicate that someone is withholding information. Number 4. You keep looking down. If you're shy or introverted, you probably look down a lot or inadvertently avoid someone's gaze. Try to become more aware of what your eyes are saying to the person you're engaging with. This is especially important in the professional setting. As we mentioned earlier, making eye contact for an appropriate amount of time can indicate respect. If you're giving a presentation and looking down and lowering your gaze, it can indicate meekness, showing colleagues that you're not confident. Remember to always keep your chin up and eyes forward. Number 5. You're slouched. Slouching is universally discouraged because it indicates disinterest, stress, and low morale. Slouching is a hard habit to break, but you'll be rewarded for correcting it. One way you can combat this issue is through aerial stretches and routines. If you spend your entire workday at a desk, try sitting up straight with your chin up and your chest lifted. This will make you appear more confident, interested, and enthusiastic. From a physical perspective, practicing good posture also helps with alignment, breathing, circulation, and general good health. Number 6. You keep fidgeting. Fidgeting is a movement you may engage in without realizing it. You might be sitting in a meeting completely unaware of your tapping foot, but your colleagues are certainly noticing. The constant tapping is not just distracting to others, it indicates that you're tense, bored, or nervous. You can curb that habit by first taking a deep breath to release that nervous energy. Prevent the urge to tap by crossing your legs at the ankles. Even better, engage with your colleagues to busy yourself with the topic at hand. Number 7. You sit cross-legged. If you sit with your legs crossed, ankle over knee, you're confident and dominant. Known as a figure four in body language circles, when you sit in this position, you're opening up your power zone or your nether region. We all have three areas on our body we open up when we're stress-free and relaxed. The neck dimple, the belly button, and the pelvic region. Crossing your legs at the ankles while seated is known as the ankle lock. This nonverbal communication could mean that you're holding back, 
uncertain, or fearful, making it common in interview situations. Number 8. You have your hands on your hips. Listen up, because this one is very important. If someone has their hands on their hips, it shows you that they've lost their patience. They're likely to also be very angry. If you walk up to your boss or your significant other and they're standing with their hands on their hips, you're in big trouble. Number 9. You keep touching your face. It's a myth that touching your face means someone's lying. It can indicate a lie, but generally, face touching shows a level of anxiety and heightened activity in the mind. In sales meetings, for instance, it could show your customer that you're uncomfortable and unsure, so you keep touching your face. It could indicate that there's something you're worried about and are unsure of what you're talking about. Number 10. You stand close to the other person. Proximity is the distance between you and the other person. How close you stand or sit next to the person can determine whether or not they view you favorably. Standing or sitting in close proximity to someone is perhaps one of the best indicators of rapport. On the other hand, if someone backs up or moves away when you move in closer, this could be a sign that the connection is not mutual. You can tell a lot about the type of relationship two people have just by observing the proximity between them. Keep in mind, some cultures prefer less or more distance during interaction, so proximity is not always an accurate indicator of affinity for someone. Number 11. You keep nodding your head. The speed at which you nod your head when you're speaking indicates your patience or lack thereof. Slow nodding indicates that you're interested in what they're saying and you want to continue talking. Fast nodding indicates that you've heard enough and you want the other person to finish speaking or give you a turn to speak. Tilting your head sideways during a conversation can be a sign of interest in what the person is saying. Tilting your head backward can be a sign of suspicion or uncertainty. People also point their head or face at people they are interested in or share an affinity with. In groups or meetings, you can tell who the people with power are based on how often people look at them. Number 12. You have a firm handshake. Your handshake can reveal a lot about you. A study found that people could predict the personalities of undergraduates they shook hands with. Specifically, they found that students with firm handshakes were more positive, outgoing, and less socially anxious. Meanwhile, research found that in mock interviews, students who had firmer handshakes at the beginning of the interview were ultimately perceived as more hireable. So, if you have a firm handshake, people will perceive you to be more confident, positive, and outgoing. Number 13. Your arms are crossed. Crossed arms suggest physical barriers, meaning you are not open to what the other person is saying. Even if you're smiling and engaged in pleasant conversation, your body language tells a different story. In a study which videotaped more than 2,000 negotiations, not a single one ended in an agreement when one of the parties had their legs crossed while negotiating. Psychologically, crossed arms signal that you're mentally, emotionally, and physically blocked off from what's in front of you. It may not be intentional, which is why it's so revealing. Number 14. Your eyes crinkle when you smile. When it comes to smiling, your mouth can lie, but your eyes can't. Genuine smiles will reach your eyes, crinkling the skin to create crow's feet around them. People often smile to hide what they're really thinking and feeling, so the next time you want to know if someone's smile is genuine, look for the crinkles at the corners of their eyes. If they aren't there, the smile's hiding something. Are you good at reading someone's body language? Do you do any of the body language giveaways we mentioned? Let us know in the comments section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of Bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy!